I am going to start. According, you must all be knowing the syllabus. Beginning with my first class, I would like to know. I would like to tell you about the four major subdivisions of literature, which the syllabus has done. And the syllabus is talks about drama, talks about poetry, fiction, and non-fiction. <clears throat> so first of all, today I will talk about. drama what is drama let it come to let us come to the history of drama part okay without understanding the history of drama we will not be able to continue properly see my 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 system of teaching is entirely different from so many other places why because as a government professor in english i know what is to be taught and how ugc net is a exam where things are required according to the system i teach why because the history of english literature part should be embedded ya ingrained in your blood jab tak wo aapke khoon mein mix nahi hoga tab tak it is very difficult to qualify in it wo ek alag baat hai ki kabhi kabhi history part se questions kam poochte hain kabhi bahut zyada poochte hain kabhi american se kabhi african se but isme worried hone ki zarurat nahi hoti why because in all walks of life all spheres of life wherever you will go for this uh, interviews or lectureship or any viva voci only the most prominent form is always history of english literature so coming to drama drama what is drama drama is the specific mode of fiction represented in performance and this term has come you must be knowing from a greek word which is known as action classical greek drama which is derived from the verb jisko kehte hain to do to do or you can say to act and the origin of drama ye origin hua kahan se the origin of drama is deep rooted in the you can say the religious uh, uh, predisposition of mankind jahan se hum shuru hue the safar wahan se drama ka origin hua hai and these ancient greek and roman dramas were concerned with religious ceremonials religious rituals of the people and it is a religious it was a religious element that resulted in the development of drama ड्रामा डेवलप कैसे हुआ ड्रामा डेवलप ही हुआ है रिलीजन से वेन यू विल स्टडी यू मस्ट हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द ड्रामा सो अल्टीमेटली इन शॉर्ट अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग द ड्रामा इज अ टाइप ऑफ लिटरेचर विच अल्टीमेटली टेल्स यू अ स्टोरी एंड विच इज इंटेंडेड टू बी परफॉर्म्ड ऑन द स्टेज अल्टीमेटली हमें इसको स्टेज पर परफॉर्म करना है एंड वॉट इज ड्रामा अगेन इट इज अ इमिटेशन ऑफ लाइफ इट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम अदर फॉर्म्स ऑफ लिटरेचर ऑल्सो why because of its unique characteristics poetry fiction sab kuch alag hai drama is different apni uniqueness ke wajah se drama is different and it is actually a medium of communication <clears throat> medium of communication so students i will uh, go ahead with drama that drama mein hame kya padhna hai context kya padhna hai origin of drama hum hum aate hain we come to the origin of drama you can make your notes here also because slowly and steadily we will move on to many things which are very net eccentric if we talk about origin of drama students to aisa mana jata hai ki ye jo drama ka art hai the art of drama is western form of literature and it has been originated from where from greeks yes and it is also assumed that it straight is its origin its ka trace kahan se aata hai egypt mein aata hai aur ye piche jata hai kam se kam 3200 bc mein it goes back up to 3200 bc and scholars are divided on the origin of drama unko hum divide hi aise karte hain drama ke origin mein many scholars trace the origin of drama to wordless actions wordless means bina shabdon ko bole sirf hamare action se drama ho raha hai jaise for example 
ये देखिए रिचुअल डांसेस हम डांस करते दैट इज ऑल्सो अ फॉर्म ऑफ ड्रामा एंड यू मस्ट हैव सीन परफॉर्मेंस बाय द डांसर्स मार्क्ड प्लेयर्स पुजारी जिनको हम कहते हैं प्रीस ड्यूरिंग द ट्रेडिशनल फेस्टिवल्स ड्यूरिंग द ट्रेडिशनल सेरेमनीज सो ऑल दिस इज ड्रामा दैट इज ओरिजिन ऑफ ड्रामा नाउ next we come to evolution of english evolution of english drama again the same thing i would repeat here that the initial stage or the evolution of english drama or english stage was from the rituals that is the re the religious rituals dharmic rituals se and which commemorated the resurrection of kiska resurrection hua tha yes jesus christ correct jesus christ commemorating the birth of jesus christ and the english drama was born in churches in order to make people familiar with the bible bible aap jante hi hain the incidents which were taken from the life of christ the bishops of the church they began to dramatize taking the stories and the episodes from the bible yes and in the 13th and the 14th centuries kuch plays jo ki christ ki life ko describe kar rahe the aur scenes ki life ko describe kar rahe the were called morality and miracle plays at the end of the 15th century the play called the morality play took birth 15th सेंचुरी के एंड आते आते एक प्ले का जन्म हुआ जिसका नाम था द मोरलिटी प्ले एंड द मोरलिटी प्ले बेसिकली मार्क्स द नेक्स्ट स्टेज ऑफ द ग्रोथ ऑफ ड्रामा इन इंग्लैंड करेक्ट सो दीज प्लेस दीज मोरलिटी प्लेस जो ग्रोथ किया ड्रामा का दीज प्लेस वेर वेरी डायडेक्टिक एंड रिलीजियस इन नेचर एंड द बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल इज यू मस्ट बी नोइंग इट एवरी मैन एवरी मैन दैट इज ऑफ फोर्टीन हंड्रेड एंड नाइनटी then sackwell and nortons gorboduck g o r b o d u c which was a play which came in 1561 which is considered to be the first english regular tragedy and nicholas udels ralph royster doister which came in 1566 was the first english regular comedy and the elizabethan drama reached its climax with the works of two great authors who will tell me the the name of two great authors jiske wajah se elizabethan drama reached its highest peak the two authors are shakespeare and marlowe correct agar shakespeare aur marlowe ko hata dijiye so there is no elizabethan drama so it marveled and shakespeare was a born genius he was such a person such a dramatist such a Uh, a knowledgeable uh, um, person that who actually understood the subconscious of the human mind he was basically a psychologist wo itna bada psychologist tha ki aaj hazaron saal pehle usne jo dramas likha hai usne jo kahaniyan likha hai usne jo rachna ki hai aaj bhi today in the modern world it is so samkalin it is so contemporary that we find all the characters of shakespeare's plays near our uh, you can say in our society you will also find shylock you will also find antonio betanio portia everybody you can find near and dear how it is possible how he had that impression in mind that level of uh, you can say jisko kehte hain hindi mein par ki nazar ki uski plays jo hain aaj bhi purani nahi ho pa rahi hain and it will never be isliye kisi ne kaha hai ki shakespeare jitna andar hai zameen ke utna hi upar hai nobody can touch the genius of shakespeare so hamara samjhane ka ye matlab hai aapko ki drama ka jo peak level tha wo sirf do authors se chala gaya that is shakespeare and marlowe and after the restoration period restoration period jab hua jab monarchy fir se aayi that is the restoration drama 
रेस्टोर हुआ इन मॉडर्न एज वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ ड्रामाज आर डेवलप्ड जैसे मॉडर्न एज की बात करें तो दो ड्रामेटिस्ट विद द ग्रेट ड्रामेटिस्ट इन मॉडर्न ड्रामा दैट इज हु विल टेल मी यस जैसे उधर मैंने आपको शेक्सपियर बताया और मार्लो बताया तो मॉडर्न एज में यू विल फाइंड जीबी शॉ एंड गॉल्स वर्दी टू बी द ग्रेटेस्ट ड्रामेटिस्ट फाइन नाउ वी विल कंटिन्यू विद नेक्स्ट दैट इज ड्रामा ऑफ इन डिटेल ड्रामा ऑफ एलिजेबिथ इन एज drama of elizabethan age so here students see ek cheez main aapko beech beech mein batata chalunga ki jo hamara style hai padhane ka it is full of precision you can say full of filtration jisko ki hum keh sakte hain english mein nectar in the sieve aapko jo hum padha rahe hain basically wo shahad hai hum pura chhan karke aapko de rahe hain so that ab aapke upar hai ki aap iske aas paas ko kitna bator sake kitna aap usko pad sake because this is which is the minimum required according to the latest syllabus hum isko hata nahi sakte hain whatever i am going to teach you here so students after the establishment of the theater is theater ka jab establishment hua kab hua 1576 mein bahut competition aa gaya production of drama mein a lot of competition was to be seen ya could be seen in the sphere of drama and what was needed now kis cheez ki zarurat padi jab competition badh jata hai to hame kis cheez ki zarurat padti hai students hame zarurat padti hai kisi bhi kshetra mein success paane ke liye that is novelty nayapan so jab competition drama ka badh gaya to hame kya zarurat padi novelty ki to jo managers the in drama companies ke they were finding such people who could make the old plays mix the new matter and make something more good more beneficial more lovable more adorable to aap logon ne dekha hoga ki do log the ek ka naam tha devanant aur kiligriu ye do log logo ne drama ko lekar ke usme comedy mila di तो ड्रामा का में ट्रेजिडी पार्ट हटा करके कॉमेडी मिला दी जिससे कि लोगों को हंसी आए और यह तब की बात है व्हेन द थिएटर्स वर शट बट द क्राउन वाज टू बी टू बी गिवन सम एंजॉयमेंट सो दीज ट्रेजिडीज वर मेड डिफरेंट इन एंगल विद द मिक्स ऑफ अ कॉमेडी और जो उसमें मर्डर्स थे या जो ट्रेजिडीज थी उसको हटा दिया जाता था सो एनीवेज so after this theater in 1576 some novelty was to be uh, was to be uh, was to be seen so these managers they try to look for those people who could mend or blend something of the old with the new matter and a bunch of a group of bohemian writers who were associated with the oxford or the cambridge university they came forward in the literary canvas विद हैंडफुल ऑफ कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इन द इंग्लिश ड्रामा बहुत ज्यादा उस समय तक नहीं किया था विद हैंडफुल ऑफ कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन दे केम अहेड आगे आए और उन्हीं लोगों को हम कहते हैं यूनिवर्सिटी विट्स उन्हीं को कहते हैं यूनिवर्सिटी विट्स उन्हीं को कहते हैं यूनिवर्सिटी विट्स तो ये जो यूनिवर्सिटी विट्स थे इनकी क्या खासियत थी स्टूडेंट्स दे एब्सॉर्ब द रेनेसा स्प्रिट इन्होंने रेनेसा स्प्रिट को अपने अंदर संभाल लिया एब्सॉर्ब कर लिया एंड दे ऑल्सो सिंथिसाइज द विगर ऑफ द नेटिव ट्रेडिशन मींस कि जहां हम रहते हैं वहां की लोकल मार्केट को अगर आपने ठीक से समझा और उसको मिक्स किया तो अल्टीमेटली यू आर गोइंग टू गेट सक्सेस एंड With the blending of this nativity and vigor and synthesizing and putting up the Renaissance spirit, they also imbued in them the refined classicism. ये कमाल की बात थी. 
कि इस सब के बावजूद भी उन्होंने अपना रिफाइनमेंट नहीं छोड़ा दैट इज वाई टूडे दे आर ग्रेट स्कॉलर्स फ्रॉम कैम्ब्रिज एंड 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 ऑक्सफोर्ड एंड दे आर ग्रेट नेम्स चाहे वो कोई भी हो एंड दीज ग्रुप कंसिस्टेड ऑफ सेवन पीपल बहुत सारे क्वेश्चंस पहले भी आ चुके हैं सो so स्टूडेंट्स कभी मत ये सोचेगा कि क्वेश्चन कहां से आएगा और कहां से नहीं आएगा लेकिन आज यू एनी थिंग फ्रॉम एनी वेयर इवन लेकिन आज क्यू कि ये ऐसे ऐसे वर्क्स जो कभी किसी ने सुना ना हो अब ट्रेंड ये आ गया है कि दे नो दैट दिस वर्क इज नॉट रेड बाय स्टूडेंट्स ऑल ओवर इंडिया दे विल आस्क दैट क्वेश्चन आई स्टिल रिमेंबर अ क्वेश्चन फ्यू इयर्स बैक वेर आई हैड टॉट इन माई क्लास ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स दैट देर इज अ वर्क प्रोज वर्क नोन एज अ विजन नो बडी वॉज नोइंग इवन टूडे द स्टूडेंट्स डोंट नो and that question was in the net paper so my students and my students who had that study material where still i write aids has written a prose work known as a vision who has written this vision the students could get it and they took it uh, wb aids but how many in india so this is called ugc net ugc net is not a exam students where you have to do labor only with david dashes or w le long or sanders or cambridge or oxford or this and that and reading 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 making notes that is time gone that was a time when we used to read this these these books when the exam used to be subjective because you cannot go any way you have to write so much and that too in such a concentration 30 words 50 words 100 words we used to write then the examiner used to take lens and just check the copy so anyways that samay to wo chala gaya so you are people are lucky that you have to qualify with this objective but ek minus point hai kya ki padhna zyada hai pehle likhna tha writing skill thi ab writing skill na bhi ho you can qualify and students are qualifying because now the boundaries are limitless so with my experience of 20 years i am try to limit this boundaries for you so that you may get your studies in a way which is approachable again coming back so these seven uh, university bits are most of you must be uh, must have heard the name john lilly then you can note it down thomas keed why you should note it down i'll tell you why because when you will be going to the detailed study at least you have to study like this john lilly ne kya likha ye likha keed ne kya likha ye likha then isne kya likha ye likha otherwise wo aap se miss kar jayega you will surely going to miss then thomas nash then thomas lodge l o d g e ये चार हो गए तीन का नाम और बताइए जॉर्ज पील जॉर्ज पील देन रॉबर्ट ग्रीन एंड लास्ट लास्ट बट नॉट लीस्ट द हीरो क्रिस्टोफर मार्लो इन सातों को मिला करके ऑल दीज सेवन पुट टुगेदर आर इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर यूल फाइंड दैट दे हैव बीन कॉल्ड या नोन एज the seven stars of the cosmos i'll write it here so these are the seven stars of the cosmos the constellation of the university wits means ki sat taron ka jo khel hai ye sat taron ka jo group hai have made has made the elizabethan drama more popular and they have made this more popular with the renaissance humanism with imparting the renaissance humanism and the pride of deshbhakti which is ko english mein kehte hain patriotism the pride of patriotism english drama pehli baar apne haathon mein apne potential ko apni exuberance ko pehchan paya for the first time english drama could recognize at their hands the potentiality and the exuberance which they were to
टू माइविल अपॉन तो क्या लिखा इन्होंने क्लासिकल प्लेज खोटली कॉमेडीज फार्सिस क्रॉनिकल प्लेज मेलो ड्रामाज और इन सभी लोगों ने इन चीजों को लिखने के बाद क्या दिया मुझे वॉट द इंपॉर्टेड टू सोसाइटी टू रीड एंड टू एंजॉय थ्रिल्स एक्शन सेंसेशन ह्यूमर एज वेल एज अ लॉट ऑफ म्यूजिक वी के नॉट डिनाई वी के नॉट डिनाई दैट द यूनिवर्सिटी विट्स पेव द वे फॉर विच ड्रामेटिस्ट यस नो अदर देन शेक्सपियर एंड अदर ड्रामेटिस्ट ऑफ द कमिंग एजेस बट आप हर जगह किताबों में पढ़ सकते हैं शेक्सपियर ने हर जगह लिखा है दैट ही ओड अ लॉट टू दीज यूनिवर्सिटी वर्ड्स बहुत सारा मैटर उसमें से पढ़ करके ही कुड एम्बाइब ही कुड टेक एंड कुड प्रोड्यूस मोस्ट ऑफ हिज सक्सेसफुल स्टोरीज सक्सेसफुल ड्रामाज विच आर बींग रेड टूडे लेकिन अल्टीमेटली वो सोर्स कहां से था वो यूनिवर्सिटी वर्ड्स के, के अपने प्रोडक्शन हाउस से था आई एम श्योर यू मस्ट हैव अंडरस्टूड आई एम टीचिंग इट विथ वेरी सिंपल तरीके से बहुत विद ऑल सिंप्लिसिटी बट टोटल नेट एंगल जिससे कि द स्टूडेंट जिसका बेसिक बहुत अच्छा नहीं है या जिसका अच्छा है या जिसका बहुत अच्छा है दे विल ऑल मार्वल अपॉन लिस्निंग दीज लेक्चर्स सो दिस इज हंड्रेड परसेंट श्योर now because this is ugc net so the students who take a very shortcut they should not do this and that is the reason why we will always be trying to tell you wherever necessary and many times i will repeat the same thing always that there is no shortcut to success shortcut ka rasta bilkul mat lijiyega agar mujhe shortcut lena ho तो मैं आगे बढ़ जाऊंगा अभी बट शॉर्टकट से नुकसान आपका है सो so, मैं आपको यहां यह बताना चाह रहा हूं स्टूडेंट्स कि जैसे मैंने आप ये आपको सेवन स्टार्स के बारे में बताया दिस कॉन्स्टलेशन ऑफ सेवन सेवन पीपल हु वर्क अलॉट एंड कुड पेव अलॉट ऑफ नेम एंड फेम एंड ग्लैमर इन द इंडस्ट्री ऑफ ड्रामाज नाउ यू हैव टू रीड सिंगल सिंगल पर्सन नॉट एवरीबडी इन टोटैलिटी इन डीप बट सम ऑफ देम हाउ आई विल टेल यू द फर्स्ट GP means George Peel who was George Peel George Peel was a scholar from Oxford and he was an actor as well who wrote a lot of plays and he was also a member of Lord Admiral's company ye ek company thi jiska ye member bhi tha and apne piche ye chhod gaya hai approximately he has left behind him half a dozen plays which has lot of poetic beauty and uh he can also be uh, paralleled by none except marlo the bahut badi baat hai ki george peel ko hum kisse mila rahe hain ya kisse hum usko relate kar rahe hain a great star that is marlo uski kuch plays ka naam hai kuch uske composition ka naam hai jo aapko pata hone chahiye that is the arrangement of paris पी ए आर आई एस अरेजमेंट ऑफ पैरिस ये उसका कुछ अर्लियर वर्क है उसका एक क्रॉनिकल प्ले भी है जिसका नाम है एडवर्ड वन फिर उसका एक है द ओल्ड वाइफ टेल द ओल्ड वाइफ टेल द ओल्ड वाइफ टेल इसी तरह से एक प्ले है उसका द हंटिंग ऑफ क्यूपिड The hunting of Cupid. So these are the relevant works which you have to somewhere noted down in your diary. अब मैं आपको इसमें एक चीज और बताने वाला हूं जो इसका डिटेल यहां पढ़ाना मुश्किल है लेकिन आप उसको कर सकते हैं सपोज सपोज इफ यू फॉल इन लव विद लिटरेचर एंड यू है लॉट ऑफ पैशन टू नो अलॉट ऑफ थिंग्स डोंट डू एनी थिंग 
just concentrate on these and do one thing just open your google and just type the old wife's tale you will get something out of it just read two lines of there two lines only two lines don't ever read one paragraph or 10 paragraphs you will be spoiled no just read two lines of old wife's tale who has written what is the story what is the summary this 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 and end it and whatever you feel comfortable that yes this is a good knowledge write it down here somewhere in the bracket wherever you are making the notes so i will also time to time i will advise you just suppose carry this so you have you can search this and write something in the same way you can do for this also the rest you can leave because every work cannot be managed all the time clear so ye tarika hota hai net ki studies ko karne ka but you have to know the the system of learning now second is robert green robert green who was robert green he was a student of st john's college cambridge he was a student of st john's college cambridge and he took his ma degree in 1583 he was a person who is known for leading a very lecherous life and green was first of all a storyteller kisi bhi cheez se pehle wo ek storyteller tha wo ek pamphleteer tha jisne dheere se apne system ko drama ki taraf badal diya why for money jo usko offer hua wo uske wajah se he turned from storytelling and pamphleteering towards drama some of his plays which are to be known by you students are alphonsus the king of aragon al fonsus king of aragon ye aapko janna zaruri hai then a most important is friar bacon and friar bange friar bacon and friar bange then a lot of questions have been asked orlando furoso orlando furoso and next the scottish history of james the fourth yes the scottish history of james james four write it down <coughs> clear students so this alphonsus king of aragon friar bacon and friar bange orlando furoso and the scottish history of james four so this is uh ye jo hai ye historical play nahi hai this one the scottish history of james fourth jo ki 1552 mein stage hui thi it was staged in 1592 it is not a historical play lekin iska jo theme hai wo ek imaginary incident hai king ki life ka it is a imaginary incident of a king's life though it is not a history play <coughs> now i'll tell you something about friar bacon and friar bange concentrate on my lecture why because don't miss even a single line of it friar bacon and friar bange which is considered to be green's finest works ye kya hai it is a tale of love of a maid with two men it is a tale of love of a maid with two men and kuch had tak to a great extent it is considered to be a document of elizabethan life to ye apne aap mein ek bahut badi baat hai ki isko hum keh sakte hain ki this story whatever it is it is considered to be a document of elizabethan life robert green ne lagbhag 35 prose pieces bhi likhe hain jo ki green ke author ke apni energy ke bare mein batate the how erratic how full of energy he was that he also wrote 35 prose pieces and he has written all these with his powerful imagination next
नेक्स्ट कम्स थॉमस कीर यू मस्ट ऑल हैव स्टडीड थॉमस कीर बट नाउ फील दैट वेन आई विल टीच यू थॉमस कीर एंड यू विल लिसन टू मी केयरफुली एंड राइट इट डाउन वॉट एवर आई एम गिविंग यू आई एम श्योर यू विल हैव अ डिफरेंट एनर्जी लेवल आफ्टर दिस सी थॉमस कीर is one of those one of those seven university wits who was considered to be one of the most important first of all he was a son of a london notary bahut sari baar aapne dekha hoga ugc net mein father ke bare mein puch lete hain ab batai father se kya karna hai ab bachche kahan tak hazaro bachcho ka poets ke maa baap ko dhoondte firenge anyways wo kuch bhi kare kya kar sakte hain and he was taught at merchant tailor school which was a very popular school and he was a dramatist as well as a translator aur bahut popularity paya usne he achieved a lot of popularity by his first work known as tell me students yes the spanish tragedy he became very popular and today even we know him for his spanish strategy which was even translated into german and then it was also translated into dutch dutch so isme tha kya the plot of this play was horrific why because the plot was stuffed with murder with sudden death and whatever may be the reason because of that time it, it had a great impact on the people for the people and for the popularity see while the play has some resemblances of whom some of the marvolian lines means marvo marlo ki likhi hui lines there are even touches of style and that dimly foreshadow the greatest lines of shakespeare so ye ek bahut khaas baat hai aapki thomas keat ki plays ke liye ye hum keh sakte hain the other play of thomas keat jo ki aaj fir survive kar rahi hai hamare beech uska naam hai cornelia which is still survives aur ye hai kya it is a translated version of the french senecan it is a translated version of the french senecan now i'll tell you about thomas keir some of the important things which you can even note it down for your interviews and for writing somewhere speaking somewhere thomas keir ek wo writer tha wo author tha wo dramatist tha who glorified the matter of drama by his sweeping imagination which is automatically to be reflected in his stories and he has vitalized the manner the matter of drama as reflected in the characterization of the plays of the of the of the people who are there as characters he also gave coherence coherence samajhte hain students shape dena he gave shape and coherence to the drama as is reflected through his through his ब्लैंक वर्ड्स मीन्स शॉर्ट में कि उसने अपने ड्रामा को कोहरेंस दिया कैसे विद द हेल्प ऑफ ब्लैंक वर्ड्स ऐसे माइन्यूट माइन्यूट क्वेश्चन भी पूछे गए हैं नेट में सो यू आर वेरी लकी इन फैक्ट दैट यू विल बी गेटिंग सो मच नॉलेज इनफाइनाइट नॉलेज थ्रू द लाइव लेक्चर्स विच वॉज टेक्निकली नॉट पॉसिबल ओनली बाय द बुक्स और द गाइड्स गाइड्स में तो खैर कुछ होता ही नहीं है इट इज जस्ट टाइम पास एनीवेज नेक्स्ट इज सो नाउ यू कैन सी दैट स्टेप बाय स्टेप हाउ वी आर मूविंग फर्दर एंड थॉमस नैश थॉमस नैश थॉमस नैश के बारे में short may i'll tell you that he completed his education at cambridge and went to 1586 cambridge mein apni padhai pure karne ke baad he went to london 
to earn by writing he wanted to become a writer and to earn something so he also took part in some political and you can say personal questions of the day and uska ek nature tha that he became very aggressive at times so that aggression usko kahan le gaya behind the bars that aggression took him behind the bars and he finished a question aaya tha bahut pehle now see the net angle which i am trying to relate in these uh, through the through my lectures ki jo aapko zarurat hai wo aapko normal kitabon mein milta to hai but you don't know that this is net ki usne jo marlo ki wo likha hai marlo ne likha hai the tragedy of dido so thomas nash was the person who finished marlo's the tragedy of dido main likh deta hu the tragedy of dido suppose kariye anybody ask anywhere who has finished the tragedy of dido now you will remember that it was thomas nash aur thomas nash ki keval ek surviving play hai jiska naam hai summer's last will and testament summer last will and testament and testament ye hai kya it is a satirical mask usne ek aur likha tha jiska naam hai jo bahut sare exams mein pucha gaya hai kai bar even pgt mein aaj bhi puch sakte hain but not in net but there was a time when in net also this question was asked that what is the subtitle of the unfortunate traveler who is written by uh, thomas nash to hum batate the the life of jack wilton so he also wrote the unfortunate traveler which is also very popular and the other name of the of the subtitle is the lack uh, sorry the life of jack wilton that is in 1594 aur ye hai kya it is a prose tale jisne ki इंग्लिश फिक्शन को ग्रो करने में बड़ी मदद की विच हैज इट्स इंपॉर्टेंस वाई द अनफॉर्चुनेट ट्रेवलर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इज पॉपुलर एंड स्टिल वी रिमेंबर इट एंड रीड इट दैट इट हैज गिवन अ लॉट ऑफ इंपॉर्टेंस इन द ग्रोथ ऑफ इंग्लिश फिक्शन सो दीज आर द स्मॉल थिंग्स विच आई एम श्योर वेन यू आर लिस्निंग टू मी इट इज गोइंग इन टू योर सबकॉन्शियस and the subconscious is very important where your mind is retaining my lectures my words once you will sit in the examination and will try to segregate the options you will remember oh sir ne ye padhaya tha are nahi yahi pe yahan pe sir ne ye likha tha and accordingly you will segregate aur tab hota hai net ko qualify kabhi bhi yaad rakhiye ki jitne bhi questions aate hain char options sabko nahi aate aur na kabhi aa sakte hain it is your subconscious it is your knowledge level how much you have read how much you have thought about it how much you have explored usse aapka jo brain hota hai wo bahut nurture kar jata hai literature mein aur jab nurturing zyada hoti hai jitna poshan hota hai usse hum option 2 1 2 3 4 ko segregate karte hain iska hindi mein matlab ye hua ki jab aap right tarike se padhte hain तो मान लीजिए यहां पे लिखा है ऑप्शन ए बी सी डी जनरली क्या होता है कि एक से दो ऑप्शन हमें आते होते हैं लेकिन दो ऑप्शन नहीं आते हैं तो आपकी यही स्किलफुल और यही स्मार्ट स्टडीज आपको सेग्रीगेट करा देगी नहीं ये नहीं हो सकता ये नहीं हो सकता बचे ये दो नाउ यू विल पुट योर एनर्जी इन दीज टू अगर आपके पास नॉलेज नहीं है तो चारों आपके लिए बेकार है देन हाउ विल यू पुट योर एनर्जी सो दिस इज द गेम ऑफ नेट दैट यू हैव टू सेग्रीगेट विद इन सेकेंड्स At least two. ये तो है ही नहीं ये तो है ही नहीं अब केवल बचा दो एंड नाउ यू विल गिव सम टाइम ओके दिस 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 अच्छा दिस 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 दैट आई हैव रेड दिस आई हैव हर्ड दिस ओ सर ने ये लिखा था ये नहीं ये नहीं ये नहीं ये नहीं ये ईयर ये एज ये किताब वो किताब ऐसे वैसे योर माइंड वेज योर माइंड इज अ कंप्यूटर इट इज अ मास्टर कंप्यूटर वो तुरंत फिल्टरेट करने लगता है और अल्टीमेटली आप डिसीजन ले लेते हैं कि नहीं ये वाला सही है एंड यू विल फाइंड the 99.9% this will be correct so ye tarika hota hai jo main aapko slowly steadily aur bhi bahut sari cheeze hum batate rahenge
now coming to next a very important name that is john lilly john lilly was actually a very famous writer of prose and also a great dramatist his plays or you can say he became famous after the publication of effuse and uh, you can write the anatomy of wit this is the complete name anatomy of wit ye bani hai that is 1579 1579 pehle to iski dates tak bhi puch lete the so when this got published so this were acted by the children of pauls before her majesty means jab ye queen thi tab unke samne children of pauls ne isko wahan pe stage kiya tha inki jo best known drama hai uska naam hai alexander and campaspe alexander and campaspe jo ki new year eve pe play kiya gaya tha it was a play which was played on the new year eve in 1581 why i am telling you these minute things because the minute things has to be kept in your mind otherwise ye to pata hi hai hame ye kisne likha hai even this people know but nobody knows that this was a play which was played on the new year eve in 1581 then i'll again tell you a, a play which is known as Safo and who will tell me? Fao, yes. Safo and Fao. So this is also a, a play written by uh, John Lilly. Yes, most important. Correct. Endymion. Endymion. Now Endymion से मुझे याद आया students कि एक समय वो भी था net का when we we used to teach the students used to learn and they used to think oh my god ye question aa gaya it was very hard aur wo question kya hua tha hota tha there are three endymions who will tell me yes one endymion by benjamin disraeli that endymion is a novel by benjamin disraeli second endymion a poem by john keats correct and this is a prose work by john lilly so dhyan rakhiyega there are three endymion by three different people they can ask you anything they can even ask you the minute questions on endymion to jaisa maine aapko tarika bataya hai ki aapne kahin likha hai endymion by john lilly endymion novel by benjamin disraeli endymion poem by john keats kabhi waqt rahega to google kar sakte hain otherwise hamare study materials jo hamara hota hai usme bhi iska details aapko kahin na kahin milega <coughs> ना इसके आगे बढ़ते हैं इसने एक प्ले लिखा है जिसका नाम है मीडाज इसको कहीं कॉपी में लिख लीजिएगा मीडाज एंडिमियन उसने लिखा है करीब 1591 में एंड मीडाज 1592 में पंद्रह में लिखा है उसने ये एंडिमियन अन 1592 एक साल बाद उसने लिखा है मीडाज दो प्लेज उसने और लिखे हैं एक का नाम है द वुमन इन द मून इसको भी नोट कर लीजिए द वुमन इन द मून खराब हो गया बोर्ड The woman in the moon, and second is loves meta meta morphosis meta morphosis. Now, Lily ki Lily me ek khas baat thi ki Lily ke plays me stage effectiveness kam thi compared to the other dramatist, but the display of the dramatist as far as his plays is concerned 
was of a superior culture and the style was fine dekhi effectiveness alag cheez hai superior culture aur refinement alag cheez hai effectiveness kam thi superior culture aur fine sense of style zyada tha and his dialogues are remarkably you can say remarkably admirable at times which was placed in clear cut phrases and full of allusiveness full of allusiveness सो so स्टूडेंट्स बहुत कुछ पढ़ना है हम लोगों को और करीब आई थिंक मोर देन वन आर हैज बीन ओवर स्टिल आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर विद यू हाफ एन आवर मोर सो यहाँ पे हम लोग रुक जाएंगे एंड इन द सेकेंड लेक्चर दैट इज टुमारो वी विल स्टार्ट विद मैं आपको कंटेंट बता देता हूँ जिससे आप लोग पीछे से पढ़ के रखें वी विल स्टार्ट विद क्रिस्टोफर मार्लो क्रिस्टोफर uh, मार्लो के बाद हम लोग पढ़ेंगे uh, इसके बाद हम लोग क्या पढ़ेंगे मार्लो uh, के बाद हम लोग पढ़ेंगे विलियम शेक्सपियर विलियम शेक्सपियर आई विल बी टीचिंग यू इन डिटेल विलियम शेक्सपियर के लॉस्ट ईयर्स के बारे में पढ़ेंगे देन वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द लॉर्ड चैम्बर मैन अबाउट हिज वेरियस ड्रामाज हम बहुत सारे ड्रामाज के बहुत माइन्यूट चीजें आपको बताएंगे नेट एसेंट्रिक चीजें उनके कुछ स्टाइल्स बताएंगे एंड आई विल ऑल्सो टेल यू सम ऑफ द वेरी माइन्यूट डिटेल्स एज फार एज देयर शेक्सपियर लाइन्स आर कंसर्न उसकी जो शेक्सपियर लाइन्स हैं उनके ऊपर कैसे क्वेश्चन आते हैं उसको हम यहाँ पे बताएंगे देन विल ऑल्सो टेल यू सम इम्पॉर्टेंट लाइन्स एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नेस इंटरेस्टिंग अबाउट वेरियस प्लेस विच विल टेक अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम एंड देन वी विल मूव टूवर्ड्स द जिकोबिन ड्रामा सो टूडे वी हैव स्टिल हाफ एन आवर लेफ्ट फॉर माई स्टूडेंट्स बिकॉज टूडे इज द फर्स्ट लेक्चर hundreds of students might be listening so they may understand that how and what will be the system of teaching so as soon as i have started drama we will continue with this now i am going to teach you something about uh, you can say in short anglo saxon period anglo saxon period which i have been teaching which i have been teaching since past 20 years the first topic used always used to be my anglo saxon period which today is not but somewhere or the other i will also be teaching you the anglo saxon period you also you understand that anglo saxon period ki how it is to be taught and how students will be benefited with this see anglo saxon period wo period hai ya you can say the history of britain history of britain jab hum padhte hain so it is basically marked by the people of mixed blood and these mixed pick people jisko hum english mein keh sakte hain amalgamation the amalgamation of the blood of iberians blood of celts c e l t s iberians c e l t s celts ya aap likh sakte hain then it is a mixed blood of romans then saxons then vikings itne sare log the uh, iberians celts romans saxons vikings and then normans normans then ye jo britons the b r i t o n s they spoke a language which was same as that of welsh w e l s h and they were different people who lived at the side of the river एल बी ई एल बी ई इस नदी के किनारे रहते थे और इन लोगों को जो ये नदी के किनारे रहते थे दे आर नोन एज एंगल्स सैक्सन एंड जूट्स एंगल्स सैक्सन एंड जूट्स जे यू टी एस जो दे यूज टू लिव नियर दिस रिवर एल बे दे वे नोन एज एंगल्स सैक्सन एंड जूट्स एंड दे यूज टू स्पीक अ लैंग्वेज जर्मन अ लो जर्मन एंड दे वर बारबेरियंस और ये जो बारबेरियंस थे दे यूज टू वर्शिप हैदेन गॉड्स एच ई ए टी एच ई एन हैदेन गॉड्स 
and these angles settled along the eastern coast and named the whole country angle land angle land a n g l e s a karke angle land and later on this word transformed into england many a times in interview they ask this thing that how this england word came into existence and hardly people students they are able to tell that this is the story behind it so anglo saxon rule came to an end in 1066 from 449 to 1066 this came this basically came to an end and soon after the death of edward soon after the death of edward the confessor who had no heir uske baad koi uttaradhikari tha hi nahi because edward was the son of king canute c a n u t e who played an important part in uniting the saxons and danes into one nation ye inhone dono ko ek karne ki koshish kiya tha so edward basically willed edward ne kya kiya koi uttaradhikari na hone ki wajah se he willed the kingdom to the william of normandy but he seemed to favor harold as his successor favor karna chahta tha harold ko as harold was not of the royal blood so ultimately kya hua william of normandy laid claim to the english throne now william of normandy ne english throne pe claim kar diya harold failed in his attempt to defend the crown when william and an invading army crossed the english channel from france and claim it for himself simple si bahut choti si story hai iski harold was defeated by the normans aur wo battle ka naam aapko pata hona chahiye students aapne padha hoga aur ye kai bar net mein bhi pucha gaya hai what is that battle known name jahan pe harold was defeated by the normans that was battle of hastings aur wo date kya thi october 1066 and here after began a new era total ek new era shuru ho gaya tha so this is what i am trying to tell you or i will try to teach you anglo saxon period in this method which will continue ye aage badhenge hum to ye aayega social and political background of the anglo saxon period uske baad aayega growth of literature under the anglo saxons war poems aayegi ballad literature aayega anglo saxon period ka brief account aayega what is जिसमें हम पढ़ेंगे सिने वुल्फ बियो वुल्फ एंड देन विल कम जो मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पीरियड है दैट इज नोन एज जिसको हम हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर कहते हैं द मिडिल एज इंग्लिश पीरियड एंड द मिडिल एज इंग्लिश पीरियड इज फ्रॉम 1066 टू 1066 टू बताइए 1485 1485 दिस इज कॉल्ड द मिडिल इंग्लिश पीरियड फिर हम लोग इसको पढ़ेंगे इसको कहते हैं हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर को प्रॉपर तरीके से पढ़ना जिसमें हम मोनार्कीज के साथ साथ अपार्ट फ्रॉम द मोनार्कीज वी ऑल्सो ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द लिटरेचर ऑफ दैट एज बिकॉज अल्टीमेटली समवेयर और द अदर लिटरेचर का का पूरा पूरा सपोर्ट कौन देता है मोनार्कीज बिकॉज दे हार द रोल मॉडल्स जैसे एलिजाबेथन एज की बात करें सो क्वीन एलिजाबेथ अगर नहीं होती तो इट वुड नॉट बी हैव बीन द गोल्डन एज ऑफ हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंग्लैंड इसी तरह से यू विल फाइंड डिफरेंट एजेस चाहे वो क्वीन विक्टोरिया हो चाहे रेस्टोरेशन पीरियड हो चार्ल्स वन हो चार्ल्स टू हो विक्टोरिया हो जॉर्ज हो जॉर्जियंस हो एडवर्डियंस हो जिन्होंने जैसा रोल प्ले किया लिटरेचर वैसा ही था सो वी विल ऑल्सो कंटिन्यू विद दिस डे बाय डे अकॉर्डिंग टू माई सिस्टम नाउ वी विल एंड द एंग्लो सेक्शन पीरियड हियर इट इज जस्ट अ ब्रीफ डिस्कशन दैट हाउ यू विल बी टॉट लेटर ऑन इन दिस वे नाउ वी कम टू समथिंग very uh, you can say um, something in the this is called literary terms which is a very important subject literary terms students always remember That literary terms को कभी भी यह मत समझिएगा कि this is a part where you have to leave this thing. No, never. 
because this is the vertebrata or the backbone of any english student for example suppose if i ask that who has written the theater of the absurd you can you will say martin eslin who invented the term the theater of the s absurd martin eslin when he invented it 1961 who were the people who were associated with the th theater of uh, the absurd immediately you have to remember out of these four options i will tell you these options means these names that the dramatists who were associated with the theater of the absurd are pehla naam aap jante hain samuel beckett jinki hey waiting for godo albert camus jean gennett inesco alfred jarry harold pinter arthur admenov and boris vian i am sure you will not be able to remember when i speak this words so fast so if you want to write it you can write it down also that the dramatists who were associated with the theater of the absurd are you have to remember it by heart ki suppose if you find these names kahi so you can figure it out arthur admenov arthur a r t h u r arthur admenov arthur admenov then harold pinter then samuel beckett waiting for godo then jean genet then enesco and so on so these are the major suppose the question is asked who wrote the bald soprano the bald soprano was written by eugene enesco but but which play became more popular undoubtedly waiting for godo and Albert Camus the myth of Sisyphus is one book which is considered to be the central expression of this philosophy which philosophy the theater of the absurd so students literary terms is something which is very very important and you have to work upon it also slowly and steadily i will also be working with you all the time or <clears throat> so now i'll tell you something about the uh, something about suppose for example yes anybody can ask and this is just examples comedy of menace aapne naam suna hai what do you understand by comedy of menace ya yeah, comedy of intrigues in interview anybody can ask if you are a net qualified student if you are going for interview they can ask you anything so you have to be supportive for yourself that you don't cut a sorry figure if you are a net qualified or a doctorate student and going for any interview so what is comedy of menace and comedy of intrigues comedy of menace is a term which is used by david campton david camp 10 david campton and this you can say this term denotes a kind of play in which the characters feel that they are threatened unko aisa lagta hai ki unko daraya ja raha hai aur ye jo daraya ja raha hai ye jo dar hai aur ye jo menace hai this dar and menace becomes a source of comedy laughter and the best example of the comedy of menace is harold pinter's the birthday party yes so this is called comedy of menace ab aapko hamesha yaad rahega you will always remember this thing same way comedy of intrigue comedy of intrigue kya hoti hai ek aisi comedy hoti hai jisme manipulations hote hain action ke dwara and there are more than one or two characters jo ki apne ends ko meet karne ke liye they are of more importance than the character themselves jaise hum isko aise kahe ki background is less important than ridiculous situations plots within plots intrigue matlab ye aap samajh jaiye jahan pe intrigue word aa gaya iska matlab hai lot of problems is arising plot ke andar plot सिचुएशंस ऐसी जिसमें हंसी आए हास्यास्पद हो मिस्टेक इन आइडेंटिटी हमने समझा था कुछ और कुछ और निकल आया डिस्गाइजेस 
छुप करके कुछ भी आइडेंटिटी सपोज आई एम गोइंग समवेयर एंड आई आई एम मीटिंग समबडी विद हूम आई एम नॉट एबल टू नो दैट अगर इससे मेरी मुलाकात भी होगी उसको कहते हैं अनएक्सपेक्टेड मीटिंग्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल शेक्सपियर की है कॉमेडी ऑफ एरर्स जिसमें बहुत सारी पॉसिबिलिटीज कंफ्यूजन की होती हैं और वो मल्टीप्लाई हो जाती हैं बाय द यूज ऑफ ट्विन ब्रदर्स एंड हु हैव ट्विंस एज सिस्टर्स इसी तरीके से बेन जॉनसन का एक कॉमेडी ऑफ इंट्रीग है बहुत बेहतरीन इंट्रीग है कॉमेडी ऑफ इंट्रीग उसका नाम है बेन जॉनसन की एपी क्यून बाई बेन जॉनसन कॉमेडी ऑफ इंट्रीग so in this way you will also be given certain certain uh, literary terms not only for the examination purpose but first of all you have to be a good english literature student a good literature english literature scholar who will first of all justify your ma in english degree hum ma english to kar lete hain lekin at the end of the day hum ye dekhte hain ki hame bahut kuch aata nahi hai due to so many things uh, which don't happen in the classes and the students are not aware that these things are so important for their career or for many anything 